CSC decided to do to research the issue of fecal sludge management because we found that um, um, this is an issue where there is too little attention. Uh, people have not looked at the business of uh, building um, uh, proper um, septic uh, systems. Uh, they certainly do not know where this waste goes. So over these last uh, some months, um, my colleagues have traveled across India, uh, looked at different cities, and Delhi is one city that we have brought to you, in which we have tried to understand how does this business operate. Delhi is the second most populous city in the world. It covers up to 1,485 square kilometer area and over 18 million people reside in the city. Delhi is divided into five administrative zones. 75% of Delhi has come up in an unplanned way. If one has to look at the spatial spread of Delhi, one would find that nearly half of it is not connected to any sewerage network. What is serious is the fact that around 30% of Delhi's population uses on-site sanitation systems like septic tanks and pits. This is a huge number if you do the maths. So what is an ideal septic tank? A well-designed unit is a watertight tank in which sewage is retained sufficiently long to permit sedimentation and digestion. This tank can be constructed with either concrete, fiberglass, PVC or plastic. It generally has two chambers. Ideally, the discharge of a septic tank must go through secondary treatment or should be connected to a soak pit. However, in Delhi, there are almost no examples of a well-designed septic tank. The best amongst the lot are tanks that are similar to the ideal septic tank, which was mentioned earlier. But these are not good examples either, as they are connected to open drains. Most of the places when you see the urban uh, uh, poor households, today we see the septic tanks are not septic tanks really. They are basically single chambered uh, units, so they, are not, they do not work as septic tanks. And the person who influences in making decisions for the household is the mason. Mason tells them this should be the size, this should be the uh, 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 capacity of your septic tank. And here is the uh, emptier who will come and help you periodically. And then there is no guidelines also from the municipal administration to tell them what is the frequency of emptying. Septic tank designs in Delhi are flawed because of the following reasons. Septic tanks that are connected to open drains but without a partition wall are common. This affects the sedimentation and digestion process. Hence, it is less efficient than a two-chambered septic tank. 2. There are also tanks that are connected to an open drain but the partition wall inside these tanks have multiple openings. These are as inefficient as tanks without a partition wall. Three. Then there are fully lined tanks that do not have an outlet or an overflow. These need to be emptied more frequently. 4. Lined pit, a rudimentary form of septic tank, is also prevalent in the city. These tanks again have no overflow. These have impermeable walls on the sides and are open to the earth from the bottom. 5. There are also areas in Delhi which have only unlined pits with no outlet. These are very basic pits dug into the ground. These pose the maximum risk of groundwater pollution and can also collapse very easily. So designing a septic tank is just not enough. It is important that we do operation and maintenance of the septic tanks and the user actually ensures that uh, what should go into the septic tank is taken care of and you know, it is regularly emptied. What is also important to know is that what comes out of any on-site system is called fecal sludge, but what comes out of septic tanks is called septage. And this word is interchangeably used in India. In Delhi, the septic tanks are emptied only once they are full. Uh, this reduces, reduces the efficiency of on-site sanitation systems. The uh, uh, notification of Manual Scavenging Act, which ensures that the fecal sludge is managed mechanically or uh, properly with proper gear. And this has ensured that, you know, this process requires uh, to be handled systemically. In Delhi, septage is collected mechanically using two types of vacuum tankers. One is truck mounted and the other is tractor mounted. Truck mounted vacuum tanker. It is a factory fitted truck equipped with a motorized pump and a storage tank. 
The truck is used for emptying and transporting fecal sludge or septage. Tractor Mounted Vacuum Tanker It is an assembled vehicle equipped with a storage tank and motorized pump. The tractor is used to pull the assembled tanker. The engine of the tractor acts as a source of power to the vacuum pump. It is the most common way of emptying in Delhi. challenge lies in uh, the emptying of uh, the fecal sludge and the disposal of the fecal sludge, which is largely being taken care of uh, uh, in an informal manner by the private sector today in the developing countries. While fecal sludge management is a public sector responsibility, private sector has uh, uh, come into the foray and uh, is been providing solutions uh, for emptying. Urban local bodies in Delhi do not provide emptying services. Hence, private players are running this business. There are around 400 vehicles in the city that collect the septage. These trucks are generally stationed at the peripheral areas of Delhi where the dependence of on-site sanitation systems are more common than core areas of Delhi. Around 50% of these emptiers have loosely come together and have formed unions. The rest of them collect the septage individually. These tankers combined collect around 4 million litres of septage every day. As we have a person, we have कार्ड है गाड़ी का जो भी नंबर है वो हमने आपको दिया मतलब आपके कार्ड दे दिया आप आपको जरूरत पड़ा आपको टैंक भर गया वो हमारे पास कॉल कर दिया पैसों की बातचीत हो गई मतलब आपके एड्रेस बता दिया भाई हम लोग गाड़ी लेके पहुंच जाते हैं मतलब आपको जब ये भर जाता है पानी जाना बंद हो जाता है सीट से ऊपर पानी आ जाता है नीचे फ्लोर में तब हम लोगों को पता लगता है कि ओवरफ्लो हो गया अब इसमें खाली कराना चाहिए मुंह मांगे चार्ज होते हैं उनके पास समय नहीं होता है तो ज्यादा पैसे ले लेते हैं खाली खड़े हैं तो कम में खाली कर देंगे देयर आर टू मेजर मिसिंग लिंक्स और गैप्स इन दिस इंटरनल बिजनेस मॉडल ऑफ सेप्टेज एक्सट्रैक्शन एंड डिस्पोजल फर्स्ट द सेफ्टी ऑफ द वर्कर्स द रेगुलेशन इज वेरी वीक हियर सो मोस्ट ऑफ द वर्कर्स हु वर्क इन दिस इन दिस फील्ड डू नॉट वेयर द रिक्वायर्ड सेफ्टी गियर्स दे आर नॉट इवन अवेयर ऑफ इट this needs to be filled up this is in the control of the business owner himself as well as the regulatory body matlab saaf safai ke taur pe haathon ke liye hangulo jo hona chahiye gand lagti hai nose ke liye nose mukh se hona chahiye aur matlab aake jaise basement kisi chamber ghusna hai to usme kya karte hai helmet wagera hum log ya safety belt ke prayog karte hain matlab aake lekin main mukh hamare logon ke paas na ha to nose mukh se na hangulo jo hum log ke the second aspect is the disposal Today, if you look at these emptiers, where do they dispose their uh, septage? Wherever they can, wherever they find a place, uh, one place, such place is empty space in the neighborhood. They dispose in the open area, in the drains, in the water bodies, and also into the sewerage system. All are dangerous to the environment. सबसे बड़ी समस्या खाली करने की है अब जैसे ये कहते हैं सरकार कहती है ये नाले जो है बरसाती नाले हैं बरसाती नाले हैं तो इसमें पूरी कॉलोनियों का गांव गंद आता है लेकिन अगर टैंकर डालते हैं तो भी टैंकर गलत कर रहे हैं क्योंकि हमारा काम क्या है कि जो सीवर लाइन है जो गंदा पानी कॉलोनी से निकाल के नाले में डाल रहे हैं हम तो हम तो नाले का काम कर रहे हैं टैंकर तो नाले का काम कर रहे हैं नाली है नहीं तो टैंकर से भर के आ रहा है सेम चीज तो वही है लेकिन वहाँ जो इस गाँव में नाली है वो सारा पानी इसमें आता है उस चक्कर में हाँ खाली करने की बहुत बड़ी समस्या है So far in Delhi is concerned recently Delhi Jal Board has prepared a guidelines on septage management the guideline simply says that septage should be put into SPS sewage pumping station and it should it should lead to the concerned uh, STPs now the point is uh, how far it is uh, possible feasible to use septage for treatment in existing STPs the guidelines or advisory note also says it should be put into stps very very feasible feasible i mean where the concerned stps take get, can take load of extra load of septage because septage is very high bod content high cod high ts content high suspended solid and pathogens also and of course the nitrogen and potassium nitrogen and phosphorus are also very very high Normally, those STPs are not designed for such high BOD and COD and uh, phosphorus and nitrogen. 
The guideline that has been made by uh, the government today is so weak and it is completely inoperative because you cannot really enforce it. Um, and as a result of it today, this is part of both the excreta challenge but also the pollution challenge. Because if you don't, if you have overloaded sewers uh, with this um, um, uh, with the septage, uh, then what it does is that it 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 ends up either polluting the groundwater or it it goes into an open drain, which in turn goes into the river, or it goes even if it goes to a sewage treatment plant. That sewage treatment plant is not designed for this waste, and as a result of it, it is overloaded. Um, it uh, it does not work, and invariably we'll find that this sewage is not treated, and that is one of the key reasons why we are missing the big, in my view, fecal sludge management is the big missing picture. It's part of the puzzle that we need to crack so that we can have uh, cleaner rivers. But when you look at all this, the private and the public need to work together. Then only this solution will be sustainable and viable. So again, three questions. Is it a viable business? Yes, there is a viable business, provided it's managed well. Is the technology appropriate? No, in Delhi the technology is not appropriate. You need to bring in better technology. And is the regulation guiding enough? No, a lot of work needs to be done. I think the solution will have to evolve um, in, in different ways. Firstly, I think we have to accept the fact that septic tanks are part of the sanitation story of India and of other countries in similar conditions. So first we have to do is to make sure that we have much better regulations for septic tanks and we can enforce those regulations when those tanks are being built. So that the tank is actually built in a way that it has the two chambers, it is able to treat the waste and it has a soap pit which also makes sure that the, the effluent from the septic tank is treated. And there are many solutions which looks at a strong partnership between both the public and private sector. So, uh, so government needs to start looking at within sanitation, uh, uh, trying to uh, partner with the private sector and eventually providing uh, an improved fecal sludge management service. Um, there are uh, other solutions as well where government can actually enforce scheduled desludging of uh, uh, septic tanks and pit latrines and it could contract out uh, uh, the desludging to the private operator again and this way it again uh, could manage how uh, the uh, this sludge is uh, desludged and where it is disposed. Uh, some of the solutions that you can look at improving the transport and collection part of the fecal sludge management chain is uh, uh, an idea of uh, looking at a call center which uh, can be managed by the municipality. The advantage of the call center model is it one at one end it tries to uh, uh, provide a better improved service to the household and easier access to the household uh, having the know of to whom to approach when uh, their pits are full. Second, it also uh, helps the household provide a lower, lowest cost uh, service to desludge uh, their service. On the other hand, for a municipality, they are able to better regulate and manage who is emptying uh, uh, the pits and where the sludge is eventually disposed. From the private sector perspective, it also gives them uh, clear access to market and they are able to come into the formalized system where they, they are being recognized by the uh, government authorities and local municipalities uh, uh, which eventually would uh, help them uh, formalize their overall uh, business. The bottom line is fecal sludge management is going to be part of our sewage, sanitation, excreta and pollution story of cities. We need to plan for it, we need to plan deliberately and we need to get it right.